K4, happy Friday. So I'm so excited to see you guys later today at the um, last pickup for the school year. And today we're doing a little, something a little different. Can you see? It looks different, right, than all my other videos. So today for your papers, it's just a review paper and you can write, it has an upstairs, a downstairs, basement, and it's a blank. So you can write whatever you want. You can practice writing your name, you can practice writing your letters, whatever it is that you want to practice, okay? So for today, I wanted to read to you Too Many Toys. And I know we've read this in class before, but I wanted to read it to you again because we really enjoyed it in class. And I had a request if I could please read it one more time. So I got the book for us and I am going to read it, okay? It's called Too Many Toys. Spencer had too many toys. They covered the floor of his bedroom and piled up in his closet. They were stashed under his bed. They spilled down the stairs and into the living room. Does anybody else's bedroom look like this? He had big toys in the backyard and little toys in the bathtub. Sometimes Spencer played with nice, quiet, wooden pool toys. Other times he played with noisy, crazy electronic toys. He had puzzles, board games, and talking books that fueled his mind. And loud, jumpy, frenzied video games that fried it. Spencer liked to make his toys into a parade that stretched from one corner of the house to the other and back again. There was an entire zoo of stuffed animals and a gigantic army of little action figures. Look at all those different kinds of toys he has. He had a fleet of planes, trains, and toy boats and a convoy of miniature trucks and cars. He also had lots and lots of musical instruments, art supplies, and alien spaceman weapons. What? Everyone gave Spencer, gave toys to Spencer. Of course, his mom and dad did, but so did Grandma Bobo and Poppy and Granddaddy and Auntie Mim and Uncle Fred and Cousin Drew. They gave him toys for every holiday, even the 4th of July, and his birthday. He also got toys from all his friends, and on his birthday, and on their birthdays too, when he went to their parties. He got toys at the drive through with his kid burger, and at school for having lots of peace person points, and at the dentist and the doctor when he didn't squirm. Look at all those people getting him toys. That's a lot of, what does that word say? Toys. Do you see how he built it with Legos and Play-Doh and train tracks and these little guys? I don't remember what they're called. That's cool. They were becoming a household hazard. Have you ever stepped on a Lego piece with your bare feet or a jack? Well, it really hurts, especially if you weigh as much as Spencer's dad. You can also trip on things like railroad tracks and race cars if you're carrying a load of laundry. One day, Spencer's mom had had it up to here with all the toys. Spencer, she yelled on her way upstairs. You have too many toys. That's impossible, thought Spencer. Then she said, we're going to get rid of some of them. That's a catastrophe. Pick out which toys you don't want, she ordered, and put them in the box. But I love them all, Spencer cried. All right, his mother said, I'll help you. She picked up an alien space ninja. How about this one? You haven't played with this in years. But I was just about to, Spen Spencer, his mother said. It doesn't even have a head. I'm making him a new one, Spencer replied. Fine, said Spencer's mom, but this can definitely go. She put down the alien and picked up a filthy one-eared bunny. Not Mr. Fluffers! Mom, how could you? This one then, she said. That's Mr. Fluffers' best friend. This one? Mother!
Mother, have you forgotten? Grandma Bobo gave me that on my fourth birthday, and I'll never be four again, ever. Oh, please, Spencer, said his mom, rolling her eyes. Don't be so dramatic. So he doesn't want to get rid of any of his toys, right? Okay, she said. You can keep that one, but I'm giving away this pig and the Johnny Choo Choo. Tell you what, countered Spencer. I'll let you have the pig, but I get Johnny Choo Choo. What are you, a lawyer now? asked Spencer's mother. You can keep Johnny Choo Choo, but the cow goes in the box too. Deal? How about two Gitchy Goomies instead, said Spencer, and I'll throw in a little peeper of your choice. How about all of them go in the box, or you don't watch TV for a week? Spencer decided it was in his best interest to agree. Deal. Finally, some toys in the box, sighed Spencer's mom. I had no idea this would be so much work. She plopped down on the floor next to an egg-shaped pirate that bellowed, Arr! Avas, you scurvy dog! Avas! Here's another one you can do without, she said. No problem, said Spencer. His mom nearly fell over. What? You're going to give it up just like that? Sure, Spencer replied. That's Dad's. So Spencer and his mom went through every toy box and looked in every closet and under every bed until they had haggled and wrestled and argued over every toy in the entire house. Finally, they were finished and his mom had a cup of hot tea and a short rest. Look at all those toys in the box. Then she went upstairs to begin loading the toys into the car. But instead of a nice neat box of toys all ready to go, she saw a big messy pile of toys all over the floor. Spencer, she screamed, what have you done? We had a deal. You were right, Mom, Spencer called from his bedroom. I do have too many toys, but we can't give away this box. Look at that mess. It's the best toy ever. So what is he doing now? With the toy, with the box that was filled up with toys, he used it to make, it looks like a spaceship, right? I'm going to show you guys a picture, my nephew used one of the boxes I got and he made a ship out of it. So I'm going to send you guys a picture and if you guys ever make something at home with a box or some recyclable stuff, show me a picture that's so much fun and make sure that you guys aren't like Spencer and have too many toys, okay? Have a great weekend friends and I will see you on Monday.